start out this workout today, we need to start out with always doing a little bit of cardio first because we've got to get the heart rate up and warm up our system before we start the strength part of it, okay? So with that set in mind, our first exercise we're gonna do is gonna be just running light in, in place. You can run around the room if you want. If that works for you, I'm totally okay with you running around the room. Okay, so five exercises grouped together. Running in place is your first one. The second one is squat to lunge. I'll show that to you as we get going. The third one is a little different than you guys have done before. It's a bent over shoulder fly. And then we've got dumbbell alternating inner curls. So they'll look like this. And then we're gonna do standing oblique reaches. I know you've just figured that all out, but I will go through this as we go. I will instruct you. So what we're gonna do, we've got 15 seconds to set up. The running on the spot is easy. Make sure you've got some dumbbells handy and ready to go, which I will grab. And then we're gonna go from there. Your first leg exercise, do not grab the dumbbells. You just need to use the first segment to continue to warm up. Are you ready to run in place? And as you guys do that, I'm gonna grab my weights. Are you ready? Three, two, one. Start running in place, nice and light. You've got about 45 seconds here. I'm gonna grab some weights to get myself ready. I've got my little basket full of weights. And I want you to have a various selection of weights and sizes. Going from light all the way to probably moderate. We're not gonna go super heavy, I don't think. So I've got three different weights. All right, getting one more. Okay, it means you got 30 seconds. I'm giving a little bit more of a timer here. All right, I'm joining ya. <laughs> I had to get myself organized. Okay, when that timer goes, we're gonna start squat to lunge in 10 seconds. I'm gonna turn on our music a little louder. In three, two, okay, this is what it looks like. Squat to lunge looks like this. You're gonna squat, then you're gonna lunge back. Then squat and switch. Squat, lunge, squat, just like that. I'll move over a little bit. Stay low, we're just gonna bounce through this. You're staying low in position, squatting and lunging. Squat, lunge back, squat, keep going. 30 seconds. So your first segments don't take as long to set up. So you're gonna do these ones closer to 60 seconds but they give you a little time if you need. Keep going. Remember when you're squatting to lunge, keep your chest up, get your position back. Okay, we're gonna get ready to do bent over, shoulder fly, and I'll show you what that is. Two, one, okay. Go light here, okay? So I'm gonna bend to the side to show you. Bend over, here's your weights. Now I want you to alternate this. So from the front, arms, soft elbow. They're not straight. If you notice when I come up, there's a curve in my elbow. Now the further you bent over, the more gravity resistance you have. Okay. So, because this is your shoulder rotators, you're going to have to go fairly light. Trust me on this. Now, when I bring one hand down, I rest it so I can prop it and give my back a little rest. Your back should be neutral, no hunching. Are you ready to switch? Okay, let's switch it. We're gonna do alternating inner bicep curl. So grab different weights, you can go a little heavier, and we're gonna alternate these. I'm gonna curl this in, I'm gonna curl this. If you're doing with one arm, hopefully my timer will cue me. You're gonna do one arm for a few, and then switch. Okay. So if you've been doing the same arm, go ahead and switch now and go to the other arm. Now you're gonna, I call these scooping, because you're gonna scoop under, stay really close to the body, like this. 
Okay, you ready to switch? Yes, we're switching. Okay, standing oblique reaches. I've got a moderately heavy weight. If you want to go even heavier, that's good. Putting my feet closer together, and I'm going to go like this. This looks a little silly, but when I'm coming down, I'm trying to get a nice crunch. So as I go to the side, I'm even somewhat bending over a little bit to the front. If you're really tight in the sides, this is great to increase your mobility. And trust me, when you first do it, you're gonna be like, I, I'm not feeling a whole lot here. Wait for it. This is the type of exercise where you feel it kind of the next day, your sides are really tender. In three, two, one. Okay, guess what we go back to? Going back to our cardio segment. We're doing those high knee runs or just little runs, it's up to you. If you just need to still bring it up a little, don't go crazy, just run on the spot. If you wanna get crazy, bring those knees up. I'm not gonna get crazy. I'm gonna save myself. <laughs> we got a little ways to go, okay? All right. Do you see that segment, those five exercises? 30 seconds here. And then we're gonna move on to the squat to lunge. And if you notice, when I design these workouts, I usually start with the biggest muscle group and then work my way down to the smaller and then leaving with core, the very end. Okay, 10 seconds, and then we're going into squat to lunge. In three, two, one. Okay, take a second, roll it in, get a nice wide stance, gotta make sure I got room behind me. Squat, and then lunge. Squat, lunge. I'm gonna move myself forward a little. I'm not tall, but I got it all in the legs. So I have to give myself some room when I'm squatting and lunging. Squat, lunge. Squat, lunge. There you go. It's only a few of these. No big deal. All right. Coming up is the bent over shoulder fly. Now with that, because you've tested it. If you didn't really feel it on the first round, you can give yourself permission to go a little heavier, but again, don't go too heavy. All right, we're done. Okay, so grab that weight. I'm gonna be brave, I'm gonna go a little heavier. It might kill me a little bit. All right, get in position, spine neutral, hang those arms and lift. Now if you go heavier, I have to use a little momentum to lift these up. Still keeping my elbow soft. 30 second mark. Keep going. Oh, I definitely am feeling these. I kind of jumped. I went from a really little weight to a pretty good size weight. And that is okay. 10 seconds. And then we're going to do our bicep curl. You're done. Three. Two, one. All right, I'm going to go heavier for my bicep. So I'm going to switch these. Inner curl. Roll those shoulders back. Just give yourself a moment. Got my palms facing inside. And then I scoop. Again, if you're doing single arm, because you only have one weight, See if I can cue you part way. I am Marty sweating buckets here. <laughs> Has not taken long. Okay, if you're doing that single arm, switch now. See ourselves working down our muscles, right? Body part from bigger to smaller. And then, do you remember? We go into oblique reaches. So on that first round, if you were like, meh, didn't feel a lot, go heavier. All right, so putting my feet a little closer together, 
But one thing I forgot to tell you is keep your knees loose. Do not lock them. Loose, roll back your shoulders. And I'm gonna reach as far as I can within reason, as long as I'm not bending my knees and going like this. That's not our exercise. <laughs> Try and keep your legs not locked. And we're not gonna bend them either. Reaching side to side. Reach down. If it helps, try and reach towards the inside front of your knee. So here I am, dragging that weight down. Keep going. See, I told you, once we got going, you would know what was coming up. 10 seconds, and we circle back around to the beginning, which we're gonna do some running on the spot. Three, two, one, okay. Put those weight down. I don't recommend you run on the spot with some weights. You know, hardcore aerobic days maybe, but not now. All right, let's run. Again, this doesn't have to be crazy. This running moment is a little bit of a heart rate raise. It's also meant to flush the system a little. So, how were your weights last time? Decent. If they're good, towards the end of that 45 seconds to a minute, it should be burning. If it's like, that was fun, I didn't feel anything, you know, you need to increase that weight, right? It's up to you to get what you're gonna get from this. Hang on, we're almost there. 10 seconds, left. Ten seconds then you're gonna prepare for the squat to lunge. All right? All right, here we go. Give yourself some space. I'm checking. All right, rolling it out. Pulling up your pants if you need to. That's the usual. Here we go. Squat wide, lunge back. Squat wide, lunge back. Squat. How are you doing? <laughs> So we got our heart rate up on the runs a bit, but we don't really bring it down yet because these should also be working your heart rate a bit, hey? Squat. We're almost there. Bent over, shoulder fly is coming next, okay? Bent over, shoulder fly. All right, let's go. Grab the weight. This round, I'm gonna lighten it up. Last round was like, yikers. <sighs> Soft knees, bent over. Let's go. There we go. Check your posture, that you're nice and neutral. Not hunching, so what I don't wanna see is that posture. Right, nope. Put your chest to the ground. Lean over. Get your butt out. Ten seconds left. Ten seconds. And then we're going into those biceps. You're done in three, two, one. Oh yeah. Okay. Bicep curl, I'm going heavier. My biceps can handle it. Roll it out, getting my palms inside, and here we go. So when I'm doing these, I'm trying to focus. When I curl, isolate, feel that bicep. Come on, scoop in, scoop in. Keep that weight very close to your body. So switch now if you need to switch and you're working on one arm at a time. Ten seconds left. Ten seconds. And then we're going into those oblique reaches, right? You're done. Three. Two, one. All right. Bringing my feet slightly closer together. 
I'll show you from the side this time. See, my knees are soft, standing up tall. And then I'm gonna reach. I can see myself just going right down. Keep going. In the fitness world, we call this the sagittal plane, in case you want to know. And that's a visualization of pretending there's a wall in front of you and a wall behind you, and we're doing all of the movements sliding between those walls. Right? So plie squat to be example of another exercise in the sagittal plane. All right. Three. Guess what? Yeah, we're doing a fourth round. Yes? <laughs> You're like, I can't really tell you no because you can't see me arguing on the screen. No, I can't. Let's go. Keep going, keep going, keep going. So at this point, you should be feeling just a little bit warm. Just a little. We haven't worked crazy, but with those high leg movements, going well high intensity, bringing it low, you should be feeling this. Arms, little burns. Okay, it's up to you to make this work. 10 seconds, and then we're gonna go to the squat to lunge. Last time, okay? So our last full round, and then we're gonna change things up. All right, get your space, check it. That wide, squat, here we go. Again, you choose your pace. You're ripping through this, great. Just make sure you're getting low for each of these movements. If you notice, I never really get quite straight again. I always kind of bouncing through that. 30 seconds. <laughs> yeah, we're doing it. Maybe in the back of your mind, you have to work off some stressful things. Maybe you're feeling guilty about that dessert you had on the weekend. It's okay. Feel good. Be in the moment. It's all good. And okay, bent over, shoulder fly. I'm going heavier. I'm gonna do it because I'm brave or dumb. Pick one. All right. Lean over, soft knees, as in a little bend. Back neutral. Here we go. Now, if you're doing this and you feel some odd feelings in your shoulders, even some pinching or odd clicking, please watch your weight. Maybe you don't go up as high. Know yourself and work within your limitations. It is okay. Ah, yikers. Tons of, thank goodness. I really gave it on this one. Bicep curls coming up. All right, I'm going heavier for biceps. It just depends how often your biceps get worked, how strong they are. Rolling it out. Get the tension out of your shoulders, chest out, shoulders down, and let's curl. Isolate that. Crunch. Feel it. Feel it. All right. If you're doing one arm, switch to the other. We got this. Ten seconds, and then we go into our final oblique reaches. All right, 
Putting my feet a little closer together, soft knees. Rolling back my shoulders, because we also get really tight. Roll it back, and let's go. So I'd be interested to find out if you end up a little tender in your sides tomorrow row. Or maybe the next day, some people feel it in 24 hours. Some people are 48 hour type. I'd be interested to find out if you got some tenderness in your obliques. This always gets people a little differently. We're almost there. And then we got a rest point coming up. Ten seconds left. Hang in there. You're done. Three. Two. One. All right. Nice job. Okay, you got a little rest point. How are we doing? Take a moment. Get a drink. Got to hydrate ourselves, right? Get your water. Keep it handy. Take a moment. So my heart rate is mediocre. It's not super high right now, but I am still feeling the effects of the workout. I'm definitely sweating. That's the joys of working indoors. The heat kicks on. And you're like, that's fabulous. I just feel awesome right now. I'm sweating a lot. It's great. All right. So I'm going to do a little run through of what we're going to do. But then as we go, I'll do it with you. So don't worry about memorizing it. Five exercises. First one's always a cardio segment. So I'm going to let you choose. So the cardio segment I wrote in was high knees or jacks. By all means, throw some burpees down to the floor. It's fine if you don't. <laughs> I'll respect you. Um, for my mic purposes and keeping it in my ear, I probably won't go do burpees. But like I said, you can jack it out. But last time we did a lot of jacks, so you might stick with high knees. Totally up to you. Then we're going to go into alternating curtsy lunges. So we're going to similar movement, except we're going to go like this. And we're going to go like that. And then we're going to go into push-ups. I didn't bring my mat out for this. It's fine. Start high knees or jacks. After push-ups, we've got some skull crushers on the floor. Again, I'm not worrying about my mat today. It's just too much work for me to take it in and out. I can handle a little hardwood for a moment. And then Russian twist. That's our core exercise. Okay, so again, I'll go through this with you. You don't need to memorize it. It's just giving you an idea. So high knees or switch to jacks or maybe you're doing jacks. It's just your cardio moment. I'm gonna turn on our audio a little more. Just a little more pump here. There we go. Ten seconds and we're moving into the curtsy lunges. You're welcome to grab weights for them if you'd like. Or stay without. All right. Get your width. Get ready. First round, I'm going to keep my weights off of this. We'll see how I feel. We've already done a lot so far. So remember the curtsy lunge. When you're coming down, hips facing forward, knees over toes. There you go. Good job. Check your hips. Trying to keep them faced front-ish. Guess what's come up next? Push-ups. <laughs> now, we've got 45 seconds worth of push-ups. I am totally respecting the on the knees lower version, okay? All right, come on down. Also, I should show you really quick. I'll, I'll do it this option. You can grab your couch, a chair, and also do incline ones too if you want. Now, unfortunately, my chair is very narrow. It's creating a lot of issues for my wrist. But if you have a bench or a wider chair or couch, doing on incline makes them easier too. 
All right, let's go. A bend is a win, people. You don't have to get your nose to the ground. Most females get discouraged because they think they have to put their nose to the ground. On knees is okay, just don't put your butt in the air. This is not a downward dog. All right, we're gonna change the skull crushers. So I'm gonna grab two light weights just to test and fill this out. Come down to the ground. You can see me. Lay down. Hands up to the ceiling. And if you're going two lighter weights, you're gonna bring this down to your ears and extend to the ceiling. Now when you extend to the ceiling, you should feel the back of your triceps tightening up. So now that I'm testing this with my light weight, I always say air on the side of light or the side of caution. And I'm like, well, that wasn't too bad. Then I know next time I can choose heavier. Okay. I'll wait till I get off the floor to switch though. 10 seconds left. 10 seconds. And then I believe it is. Yes, our Russian twist, I had to check. Okay, so Russian twist. How many of you guys done these before? You're gonna lean back. Now, two options, I gotta hold my weight. You can lift your feet off the ground and then you're gonna rotate. Now, if you're like me and you did something dumb, snowboarding or sledding, and you landed on your tailbone and it made kind of a cracking, snapping sound, and now, ever since that day, your tailbone is just not awesome. I can respect the not keeping your feet up. However, even in this position, I am still making sure my weight is back, my core is engaged. I do not have weight on my heels. It's so light that I could lift them, but I need to shift because of that tailbone. See, left. that's cool. Be okay with your limitations. I am. It's what it is, right? Three. Guess what? We're coming up. So get off the floor very gracefully. That was awesome. Okay. Now note to self. We're going back to cardio, but when I come down to the ground, I'm going to go a little heavier. All right. Choose it. High knee runs or jacks. Let's go. I'm going to turn up our audio. I need more pumping at this point. We're getting tired. Right? Option. It's funny, I'm actually a more fan of jacks than high knee runs. <laughs> I'm weird. Remember you're doing those jacks. I did not want to see your knees look like that. Toes out, or at least your feet evenly pointing to each other. Do not turn your toes in. Curtsy lunge. I'm moving myself forward. Woo, how's your heart rate? I'm there, I'm gonna push my chair out of the way. Roll it back. I'm starting on the beat, cause that's what we do. I'm gonna stay without weight. My legs are definitely feeling some fatigue. So I'm gonna be okay with that. But grab weights if you want people. Just respect what you can do. Make sure you can walk tomorrow. That's always kind of a thing. Push-ups are coming up. All right, push-ups. Before you get to the floor though, Choose it to get a weight down with you. So I'm gonna choose a couple of different weights. All right, down we go, push-ups. I might alternate between these and a full body. But again, your butt is not, this is not a push-up, people. That, that's what my seven-year-old does. Body like a board. 
Okay. So that way when I lift, arms are dying today. I don't know what. That's okay. 10 seconds. Ten seconds. You're going to take as many pauses as you need to because if you're dying like me, that's totally okay. All right. We're flipping around. Ooh, skull crusher. You heard it. So I'm going to show you an option. I'm going to go heavier. Single weight. Holding them like this. Just like that. How is that? Are we good? Keep going. Yeah, that was a better choice. Halfway done. Is that what she said? I think so. <laughs> I'm so glad for this app that I use. Otherwise, I'd have no idea how long we're doing things. I'd just be randomly timing it. 10 seconds, and then we're gonna go to Russian twist. And I'm gonna keep this weight and use this as an option. That was actually a good weight for that. Okay, again, lean. I'm holding on to this. You can have your feet up. Oh, but if that tailbone doesn't love it, drop your feet down, but keep your weight back. Now, this is an oblique twist. So if you're just doing your arms and staying forward, it's not gonna do as much. Pretend your arms are attached to that core. Your arms turn, your core turns. If you have some back challenges, be very careful on that twist. Don't go super deep. Keep going. We're almost done. You're done in three, two, All right, gracefully, up we go. High knee run, Woo. or jacks. How you guys doing? I told you by now, you'd be like, holy flippity doo -dah. We've got this. Get those weights out of the way. Are you ready? Let's go. Remember your option. Burpees? <laughs> You're like, ha ha, no. Keep going. 10 seconds left. Hang in there. All right, Chrissy lunge. lunge. For 60 seconds. Ready? All right, let's get going. I'm just gonna check our time on this. All right, we're doing good. Let's go. Come on. How are we doing? <laughs> Don't worry, inside right now, I've got this little mental game going on. I'm like, three rounds is good. No, if you did four rounds on the first one, it's gotta be the same. But then I'm saying, but I'm tired. <laughs> is this, a, sounds pretty familiar, I'm thinking. We're all in that same like mental zone. We can do this. All right. Push ups. This is the one. This is the one exercise that's making me debate. Three or four rounds. Not lying. All right. Are you ready? <laughs> I'm stalling. Come on down. Knees are full body. The fatigue is getting real. On knees is totally cool at this point. 
with females especially, we're not built with a lot of chest muscles. That's not our powerhouse. But if you're one of these really strong females that can plow them out, I just love that. <laughs> I've had better days with these, that's for sure. 10 seconds. Oh, there we are. Three, <laughs> three, two, one. You're good. Okay. Skull crushers. I think I'm going to use two weights that are moderately heavy this time. All right. So I'm bringing them to the side of my ears and extending up. <laughs> one in, and I'm debating that already. That's fine. I'm committed now. There's no turning back. I'll just have to pace myself. Oh, yeah. Yep, that was a good choice. So, you know you're doing this really right when it's burning, and then the triceps start to shake. That's a really good sign. The tricep tremor. Yeah. Got it. You're done. Three, two, one. All right. Russian twist. Russian twist time. Okay. Lean it, lift, or drop to keep your weight back. This time, I'm doing a single weight like this. I find it easier to rotate with a little bit of spacing between my hands. See what you can do. So, are we gonna do one more round? <laughs> are we gonna do it? Yeah, we're gonna do it. We'll survive, right? We're here to work it off anyway. It's good, we can do this. Ten seconds left, hang in there. You got this, come on. All right, one. one more round, people. Come on up. Ooh. Okay, get yourself ready. I gotta check my, my earpiece is not gonna bounce out. I'm getting sweaty, so it's not sticking anymore. Let's go. Remember, option. We're dying together. Yes. Come on. That means 30 seconds here. Remember your option. If you're wanting some lower impact because you're feeling something in your knees or literally dying, it's okay. You're gonna march it through, okay? Know your options. Know your limit. Stay within it. Right? Three. All right, curtsy lunges. Get your space. I'm rolling it out. Take some deep breaths. Push ups is coming. I'm just I'm mentally preparing myself. Really arguing with myself too. Ah! If you're like at the point where like I just can't do any more push-ups, you may take a couple of weights and do a chest press on the floor. Do you want to try that option with me? What do you think? You're like, yes, please. Okay, I'll just answer for you. Yeah, let's try the chest press option. Okay, are you ready? All right, so instead of push-up, or go with it, push up or chest press option. Coming down to the floor. Getting into push up position. And go. Oh, that's a bit of a relief. Still working, my arms are tired. But I'm feeling a little sense of relief. Push ups are like literally 
my least favorite exercise next to doing the leg curl at the gym. I think if you know what I'm talking about right now, you're probably like, that's about right. Also quad, working the leg extension, that's a close third. But I'd take the burn over the tightening any day. 10 seconds. And then we're gonna go into skull crusher, okay? I can definitely feel that fatigue. So I'm gonna to change to one weight. I'm holding it like this. And I'm gonna drop down. So they call this a skull crusher <laughs> for a reason. But if you get food too fatigued and you drop that weight, skull crushing. Don't do it. So never get to a point where you're losing control of this weight. Don't get to a point that you're so fatigued that your, your basically triceps stop contracting and you drop that weight on your head. Do not do that. Stay in control at all times. So even at this point, if you're dying and they're shaking, change your weights. Just take a moment or rest it out. There's no shame in that. Protect yourself at all times, people. We're almost there. 10 seconds, and then we're going into the Russian twist. We're gonna finish this off. Three, all right, sit up. So I'm looking at the ceiling, and now at the little lights, and now all I see is little lights in my eyeballs. I love that, okay, ready? Okay, twisting it out. I'm using a wider grip for this. Again, this is an option too. I prefer the wider grip. I get better rotation. I don't feel as much limitation rotating from side to side. Again, lift those feet if you can. Oh, another good option actually, which I still can't do because of the tailbone, is putting your feet on a step and having them lifted up a bit. That'll help you lay, lot, lay back a little bit more. This is sort of my limitation for my angle for a broken cracked elbow. This is the spot. 10 seconds. Three. Two, one. Nice work. We did it! We crushed it. Alright. Come on up. How are we doing? Okay. I'm gonna turn this down. And we're gonna do a little bit of a stretch, because I almost never do those. Right? So I've got nothing. We're not doing anything choreographed or anything. We're just gonna stretch some favorite parts of mine. That sounded very funny. No, favorite stretches for certain body parts. That would be better stated. Okay, so start off, get your balance, hold on to something. We're gonna stretch the quad. Again, if you notice, I'm starting with one of the biggest muscles, <clears throat> the quad. Now for a stretch to be effective, generally speaking, not always possible. You want to hold at least 15 seconds. Sometimes we're doing choreographed stretching through music. We can't necessarily do that, but we might repeat it. Do a nice quad stretch, right? Okay, let's stretch the tension out of our shoulders. Take, oh, that's gonna get your tricep back of your shoulder blade. You should feel that stretch all the way through. Other side, whip that arm across. We still got our pumping music for this, so that's okay. I won't worry about changing the music. Bring one arm over top and give it a tug, just like this. Other side. Now I want you to go wide on those legs and you're gonna come down and you're gonna rest your hands, like use your hands as a prop. Drop your weight, and your arms are just helping to hold yourself up. You should feel that right there. Stretch that out. Sometimes sway side to side will help you pull that yikers out. All right, shift it. Put your hands on the floor. Put your butt up to the sky. We're gonna stretch that through right here in the middle. Go to the side. I'm gonna reach, I'm gonna turn my toes out a little bit. Whoa, 
Is anyone else tight in their hamstrings? Like right, oh wow, other side. I am feeling that as soon as I come down. Yikes. That is insane. Bring your feet together. I want you to reach up tall and just drop. Now, if you can touch the floor, great. Just hang there. Work within your limitation. Also, soft knees. Don't lock them. Ooh, that's good. Now what I want you to do is take one arm. I'm gonna do a little side rotation. You look, I'm kind of reaching. Switch sides. Oh, I can feel that right through my back. All a little bit of my hips. Final one, let's come to the floor and get our IT bands. Okay, a little bit within the hip. Option one, foot straight here, twist and turn. Option one, option two, pretzel time. Okay, you choose. And I want you to tug. Feel this come all the way through the side into your hip. This is a little bit of IT, but I'm feeling this more in my glute and hip region. Yeah, switch sides. Okay, so we get option one or option two, pretzel it. Tug and feel it come all the way down. Okay, hip flexor, last one. Ready? Down to the floor. Put your foot up like this. And push. I'm going to push that down. And as soon as I do that, depends how tight you are, you should feel that right in that hip flexor. Push. Okay, switch legs, put your foot on your knee, and then open it up and push. That one is tight. As soon as I did that, I was like, oh, I feel that. Yikes. Take your legs, give yourself a little hug. <laughs> hug them. Nice job, everybody. How'd you do? Did we do good? Awesome. Thanks so much for coming.